match types are one of the new features that we introduced in Scala 3. And in this talk, I will tell you all about them. Let me start by showing you an example of match types. So this definition here is going to reduce to one of the right hand sides depending on the value of x. Here we have a couple of uh, reduction examples. Uh, LM of string redu reduces to car via the first case over here. LM of int reduces to int using the last case. And LM of list of int reduces to int. And it does it recursively first via the second case and then uh, the last case. So there are a few things to note about these examples. The first one is that uh, match type reduction is performed using subtyping. Furthermore, we consider patterns sequentially. So the order of patterns here is very important. There is an extra condition needed for match type reduction, which is that in addition to every negative subtype result, we also need to show that the scrutiny and the pattern are disjoint. So disjointness plays a crucial role in our design. Intuitively, you can think of it as the dual of subtyping. Two types are disjoint if the set of values they represent do not overlap. And uh, in the remaining of this talk, I would like to introduce you to our formal treatment of match types. So this is the syntax of systemfm, which is uh, our new calculus, which extends systemf sub with classes and pattern matching. Our system is parameterized by a set of classes defined externally. We call this set C. And so each class in C gives rise to a constructor, a class, and a singleton type. And here we have uh, pattern matching on the term level, over here on the type level, so the match types. We can see over here on the match reduction rule, the second parameter of our system called the psi, which models class inheritance. So this is the rule for match type reduction. The premise of this rule really corresponds to the algorithm I explained uh, before. So to reduce a match type, the scrutiny must be a subtype of the nth case, and uh, the scrutiny must be disjoint from all the patterns that come before. So to summarize, our system takes uh, three parameters, the set of classes, the inheritance relation, and the disjointness relation. I'm now going to show you a concrete instantiation of our system for a set of Scala classes. Here on the left hand side, we have a few Scala definitions. And on the right hand side, we have their translations into the system FM parameters. The class inheritance relation almost maps one to one to the extents clauses. So here we have four extents and five elements. The last one is the one we obtain transitively because a road bike is a bike, which is its, itself a vehicle. Finally, the class disjointness relation, xi, encodes everything we know about those classes, assuming separate compilation. Since will and this break are final, they cannot be extended and they are disjoint from every other class. We can also use another property here, which is that uh, Scala types can extend multiple traits, but only one class at a time. For instance, Bicycle and helmet are two classes, and since they are unrelated, you would not be allowed to extend both. So we can conclude that they are disjoint. Our goal with System FM was to design a calculus to explain match types while being as simple as possible. Having an externally defined class hierarchy really helps because it allows us to keep the syntax minimalistic while still being able to reason about a rich hierarchy of Scala types. The main outcome of our formal development is a type safety proof for our calculus. This figure shows the structure of the proof, which is based on the standard progress and preservation theorems. Our proof actually comes in two different versions. One is pen and paper, and is about 20 pages long. The other one is a cock mechanization, which is about 6,000 lines of code. Our paper also includes a case study where we show a concrete usage of match types. I hope this gave you a good introduction to our paper and thanks a lot for your attention. I would be happy to take any question.